제 240회 여기 앉아도 될까요? 안녕하세요. Hello, everyone. Welcome to LSK. That's Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host, Lisa Kelly, and sitting beside me is... I'm Stephen Revere. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us once again. And today, uh, I'm up to my old tricks, as you'll see in the Flash animation in just a moment. And we have two great students along with us. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 자, 얼굴하고 합니다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 선생님. 저 나스입니다. 오늘도... Okay, <laughs> Actually, you know what? This is something you might see in a lot of movies or when you're on the subway. You, you know, you ask the person next to you, is this seat taken? We're going to learn the equivalent to this in Korean. Should come in pretty handy. Take a listen to our lesson. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. Hi, <laughs> 없는데요. 그럼 여기 앉아도 될까요? 아까 코골던 학생 맞으시죠? 실례합니다. Excuse me. 여기 자리가 있나요? We learned last time that it literally means is there a room, but it also means is someone sitting there, right? It's tough when you start doing direct translations of this. Is you think jari is like chair or seat and then you go is there a seat here and you're going thinking well of course there's a seat here but mm -hmm. what the the real translation the meaningful translation would be is this seat taken right is this spot taken but in this case is there a seat here right is what they're asking so chariga innayo and this sentence ending remember you don't have to conjugate it depending on the pachim you just add whatever it is on there without putting any vowels in the middle or anything. Inayo. Right. So, for example, you could ask someone if there's a seat next to you, Stephen would say, Jariga mm inayo? -hmm. Uh, 네, 앉으세요. You would tell them, go ahead and sit down, or you would say that someone's sitting there. That's how you would answer a question like that. And let's try saying it. 실례합니다. 실례합니다. Okay? 실례합니다. Okay? Together. This is fun. Maybe I should just keep making them do that. All right. And then, 여기 자리가 있나요? 여기 자리 나 있나요? 자리가 있나요? 여기 자리가 있나요? 여기 자리가 있나요? 없은 것 같다. Nice. And then the 학생. The if you recall from last time, Stephen left his seat in the library to go towards the window where a very pretty yohak sang. Okay, a female student was sitting, so now he's talking to her. She says, 아니요, 없는데요. No, there's no seat here. Okay, let's just try it once really quickly. 아니요, 없는데요. That's what Olga just said, right? 아니요, 없는데요. 아니요, 없는데요. Nobody's sitting there, right? That's what she's saying. There's there's nobody sitting there. It's not taken. Omnendale. The, the, it sounds like, again, direct translation. No, there's no seat here. But <laughs> that's not what they're saying here. It means the seat's not taken. Nobody's sitting there. So Stephen asks, Oh, 그럼 여기 앉아도 될까요? Then is it okay if I sit here? 그럼 여기 앉아도 될까요? 그럼 여기 앉아도 될까요? Krom yogi anjado telkayo. And you're again asking permission. Hedo deo is the simple form. We've had that before. Hedo de asking permission to do something. Here, hedo delkayo, would it be okay? We've had this ulkayo for proposals many times. Mm -hmm. Proposing something, would it be okay if I sat here? Anjado delkayo. I even made a little bit of a mistake there. I think I almost said like an anjo. Okay, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, be careful. You'll hear many Koreans say it like this, especially in the low form. Anjo, anjo. But the actual way it's supposed to be pronounced is anja. Okay, anja. yes. Don't make that mistake. Even though you hear lots of Koreans do it, it's not papa, it's papa. It's not papa, it's papa. Okay, yeah, remember the conjugation is if it's an a, ah, it's followed by an a, ah, you add on an a ah vowel, right? So it's anta has an a ah vowel, so you add another a ah after it. Anja do te kayo. 그럼 우리 학생들, why don't you guys use the cup and the cookies in front of you? 한번 활용해 보세요. 뭐뭐 해도 될까요? Try. Uh, is it okay to drink that? 
음료수 마셔도 될까요? Very nice. 뭐뭐 마셔도 될까요? Is it okay to drink? How can you say is it okay if I eat the cookies? Olga? Um, 이거 마셔 어, 먹어도 될까요? 네, 먹어. 그... I'm not snoozing through your lesson. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point. I'm sure you remember this time now that I've snored for you. Uh -huh. 아까 코 골든, okay? 학생 맞으시죠? Okay, aren't you the person we're asking in the past tense? Aren't you that guy that was snoring? Here's a new ver verb for you. We've got 코, right? We know that one. That's nose. And then you've got 골다 is the verb for to snore. 코를 골다. And here we have 코를 골던. Now, let's, let's try this with a cup here, okay? 내가 마시던 주스, right? Mm -hmm. This is the juice that I was drinking, right? In this case, you add that done right on to the end of 골다 and you get the guy who was snoring. 고, 골던 학생. I'm sorry, the student who was snoring, right? 고르, 골던 학생. That's right, isn't it? Right? 맞으시죠? But now, she uses the high form to speak to me because she doesn't know me at all in the skit, right? So she adds that vowel u and she after mata. Macho is the low form, uh, uh, just the polite form. Macho. And then the low form would be maja, ma machi. But here, in this case, being very polite, maja shijo. That's right, isn't it? Mm. And what if we wanted to use these of uh, this format in a different sentence? The original format is hakseng maja shijo, so we can use a different description to describe the person. For example, Olga goes to Seoul day. Now, how could we confirm? Are you the person? Are you the hakseng that goes to Seoul day? Seoul day ta ni dan hakseng maja shijo. 네, 맞아요. Okay. So you want to do done, not done. Dun. Yeah, done. Done. Yeah, some Koreans also get that a little mixed up there. You want to do done. Done. Yeah. done. All right, well, are we done? Yeah, well, we have to do some insight. All right, let's yeah. go on to Korean insight. Korean insight. If you are Korean, mm. if you just go get married, you're <laughs> Korean. Korean woman. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Let's go ahead and do that. It's been here that. for six years. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Yeah? How'd you know that? Oh, just, 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 My god, it's just like a tiger. Tiger with really? tiger. I'm scared of tiger. Oh, you're scared of tigers? Yeah. Uh, I'm totally scared of tigers. <laughs> so they're tigers. Hold on, Jimana Min Onda is the old Korean saying and in Korean you say speak of the devil, you say speak of the tiger, That's don't right. you? Yeah. Horangi, Jemaraman, Unda, Unda's to come, right? It's pretty self explanatory when you know Horangi means tiger. Yeah, that's the key, I'd say. That's right. Mm. Well, speaking of uh, our lesson, yeah. I think it's time for Stephen to wrap up our uh, lesson for today. What were we learning today? We learned, Yo yi jariga innayo? Is there a seat here? Is this seat taken? And, Anja do dekayo? Would it be okay if I sat here? Anja do dekayo? And we learned, Kuldan Haksang, the guy who, the student who was snoring, right? And then we learned, Maja shijo. That's right, isn't it? That's mm. correct. Maja shijo. Maja shijo. <laughs> That's correct. And let's go and take a final look at our lesson for today. Try to repeat after the Korean. <laughs> 실례합니다. 여기 자리가 있나요? 아니요. 없는데요. 그럼 여기 앉아도 될까요? 아까 코골던 학생 맞으시죠? 네. <웃음> 오케이. 어, 프로 끝내도 될까요? 네, 해도 돼요. 오케이. Yes. 어. 해도 된다고 하니까. Okay, he said I can finish the program. All right, it's time for us to say goodbye. Bye bye, everyone. Thanks for being with us again. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.